So today I am coming to you from my bed and I feel like it has been so 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 long since I have just sat here and talk to you guys so I decided today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. I hope I'm in focus because the camera is quite far away from me. I'm actually going to add a little video into my Snapchat story right now. Add me on Snapchat if you haven't already. It's just Maddie Bragg. I'll put it, you know, here. Do you think you will be dyeing your hair any other color? So if you didn't know and you couldn't tell from my last video, my hair was kind of blue, but it did wash out. It was very blue for Coachella and then as I washed it, it just kind of faded back to this white blonde which I really do love but I think if I did dye a color again it would be blue again because I really liked that or maybe purple but for now I think I'm just gonna stick with blonde because having a color is just too much maintenance someone asked why aren't you doing vlogs anymore I stopped doing vlogs just for a short period of time because I actually lost the charger to my old vlog camera and then I just recently bought a new one so I'm going to kickstart vlogging again probably tomorrow it's not gonna be like a whole week vlog then but it will be you know some footage of my week and this weekend is going to be pretty fun so I'll definitely be sure to vlog that if you are not subscribed to my vlog channel and you would like to see more of my life the link is always down below. What is your go-to restaurant? I am obsessed with El Ranchito. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just like a Mexican food place and I get the fajitas when I go there. It is absolutely amazing. I also always gravitate towards pizza, of course, because you guys know that that is my favorite food or Chick-fil-A, which is not really a restaurant, but actual restaurants, I would definitely say El Ranchito. Someone asked, when are you coming to Chicago? I want to meet you. I will actually be in Chicago for Lollapalooza this summer. It's like the last couple days of July to the first couple days of August and I am so so excited. I'm not positive that I'll have time to do an actual meetup but I will definitely do my best to like tweet my location a couple of times at Lollapalooza so you guys could come and find me and I can meet some of your beautiful faces. First kiss story. My first kiss was technically in preschool, so I guess I'll tell that story. It was during nap time, so we like slept on these little cots and me and this guy like moved our cots next to each other and then we just like kissed really fast because we didn't want anyone to see like our teacher or anything and yeah, I liked him. His name was Ken, so everyone called us Barbie and Ken, and yep, that was that. Preschool love, am I right? Do you like your eyelash extensions, and do you recommend them or no? I am so far loving my eyelash extensions. I found this place on Yelp and I went in and got them done. They were a little expensive, but I absolutely love them. They take two hours to apply, so like it's kind of a long process, but I just went in the morning and I ended up falling asleep during it, so it was not that bad and a few of my friends that have gotten them done said that it hurt, but mine did not hurt at all. There was like a little pinch every now and again, but nothing that was like out, out, out and like would prevent me from doing it again, but so far so good. I love them. You don't have to wear mascara and I don't have to, you know, rub my eyes to take off my mascara at night, so it's so fast. All I do for my makeup in the morning is put on face makeup and fill in my eyebrows and that is it. You're obviously allowed to wear eyeshadow and eyeliner if you please, but I like the way that it looks without it and it's just so much easier so I don't have to, you know, do any like rubbing of my eyes at night when I take off my makeup, so it saves me so much time and you wake up in the morning and your eyelashes are just long and pretty. So far so good and as of right now I would recommend them. What is a song that you can always pop and lock and jam and break to no matter what? Oh, <laughs> um, honestly anything Kaylani. That is my shower music, that's my car music. Kaylani just put out a new mixtape called You Should Be Here. You can get it on iTunes, you can also find it on SoundCloud. It is amazing and I always find myself dancing and singing to anything Kaylani, so yep, that answers your question, I hope. Relationship goals, am I right? Am I right? What's the pain difference between your septum and your other nose piercing? I would say that they're pretty similar, but my septum did hurt less because the spot that they pierce it at, if they do pierce it in the right spot, is super, super thin and normally I get like queasy and I need to lay down after I get a piercing, but that did not happen with my septum at all. I got it done about a month ago and so far, 
so good. I feel like it's healed already and it doesn't hurt. It's amazing and I can flip it into my nose so it looks like I don't even have it if I, you know, need to do that for some reason. But yeah, I would say that they're pretty similar in pain, I guess. But like I said, my septum did hurt a little less. Not saying that either really hurt that bad, but I love both of my nose piercings. They were amazing. They healed so fast because you don't sleep on your nose and, you know, like ear piercings, you always hit them with your brush and yada, yada, yada. So that's why I love them both so much, but my septum did hurt less than this nostril piercing. Smoothies or milkshakes? Oh my gosh, that is the worst question ever because it is so hard to answer. It depends. Okay, I would say smoothies in the morning and milkshakes at night because I love a good milkshake for dessert, but I also love green smoothies for breakfast or even for just like a snack. Oh, I think I would probably say smoothies over shakes, but it really just depends on my mood. What's your favorite thing about Megan? If you don't know who Megan is, Megan Hughes, Miss Megan Makeup, I'll link her down below. She's my best friend in the whole entire world. My favorite thing about Megan is that she is so positive in every single situation, you know, something horrible could be going on and she would find the positive in it. It's the best quality in a person and one of the best qualities in Megan. She's so kind and so caring and so positive and just I can come to her with anything and she can always cheer me up and she always knows what to say and she's just she's great she's amazing honestly couldn't ask for a better best friend how tall are you or actually two people in a row asked how tall am I I am 5'5 five five, I believe last time I was measured I was like five four and like you know some inches I was recently with someone who was like oh yeah I'm five four and I was taller than them so I was like okay I think I'm five five now which makes me really happy because I want to be like five six or five seven that's like my goal height so you know what is your opinion on Burger King bringing back chicken fries honestly praise praise the Lord thank you Burger King for opening your eyes and realizing that taking away Chicken fries was your biggest mistake ever because they definitely lost my business and a lot of other people's business because the only reason that I go to Burger King is for the chicken fries and I guess the regular fries too, those are good, but like without the chicken fries, it's just not even worth it, you know? So thank, thank you, if anyone from Burger King is watching this, thank you. I'd like to give a shout out to you for being the real MVP and bringing back chicken fries. I am very, very happy about this. I actually had some like the second day that they came back and now that someone tweeted me about chicken fries I'm probably going to go after this video and get some chicken fries so yep if you had to choose one makeup product for the rest of your life what would it be definitely eyebrow powder or eyebrow pencil or pomade or anything to fill in my eyebrows that is what I would choose because you can get eyelash extensions and then you know your eyelashes look great and I think I could live without wearing face makeup and it might even make my skin better not wearing face makeup. So yeah, definitely something to fill in my eyebrows would be my only makeup product that I would need if, you know, it came to that. If you could play an instrument, what instrument would it be? Either guitar or piano or I guess the voice. <laughs> I'd love, love, love to be able to sing well because trust me, I can sing, you know, I can talk. If you can talk, then you can sing but I can't sing well. So yeah, definitely guitar, piano, or just being able to like use my voice as an instrument that actually sounded good. Someone asked, what is your favorite clothing piece at the moment? These are my favorite clothing piece and they're not clothing, they're shoes. And these are my Nike Air Force Ones. They're the white ones, the low version. I absolutely love these. I wear them all the time. And they're just great. It's a plain white shoe, like all white. Everything about this shoe is white. So it's great. It goes with everything. They're cool. And I don't know. I just really enjoy these shoes and I've been wearing them so, so much. I also have been loving mom hats or just, you know, baseball caps, whatever you want to call them. I wore this one earlier when I went out to get um, some breakfast because... I was looking gross and you know what's sleep with like the skull emoji mom cap I think it really ties together the whole like I haven't slept much look so I love these for like bad hair days and you know they're great I look like I'm choking her but I swear I'm not 
you have anything specific that you want to accomplish in 2015? Yes, I would love, love, love to hit a million subscribers this year. That is definitely my goal. And also to possibly graduate high school this year. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm trying my best to like, you know, get ahead and I'm possibly going to take my GED, which is like equivalent to like having like if you pass that test it's like basically saying you don't need to continue on with high school because you already know the information and you know blah 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 if you really want to know what the GED is you can look it up but yes I want to hit a million subscribers and I would also love to finish high school this year I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish high school because I feel like this is going to be a very busy year for me and I'm kinda gonna you know sidetrack school I'm not saying that I'm gonna like quit or drop out or anything like that like I'm still gonna be in school I just won't have time to work and do like as much work as I want to be doing or like I could be doing to possibly graduate this year. Obviously like I'll still be doing it. No need to freak out. Okay mom. I think my main goal for the year is to hit a million subscribers. Um, not that numbers matter at all to me. You know I love doing this and I never thought that I would even get to 700,000 subscribers. Like that in itself is mind blowing but it's just something that would be really really cool. You know I've been doing this for four years and that would be a great accomplishment. So that is all the time that we have today. I think I've answered quite a few questions, so I'm gonna end this here so it's not painfully long. If you'd like to be included in another Q&A when I do them in the future, be sure to add me on Snapchat, follow me on Twitter, because that is going to be where I talk about when I do those. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It felt so great to sit here and talk to you guys um, for a video again because I feel like I haven't done that in a little while so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you're having an amazing day or night whenever you happen to be watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye bye! Bye guys! Can't nobody love somebody that can